Hey, what's up guys? Doing another update on the S10 street strip truck build. Um, I'm going to show you all the inside real quick. I don't know if I showed you all the inside last time. Uh, but I moved the uh, 6AL2 to the kick panel right there. I still have a lot of wiring to clean up, but I'm going to wait till the new motor is in. And then I put the nitrous controller in the glove box. Uh, and then on the firewall, uh, I cleaned it up. I took all the crap that was off of there and cut this out of the old stock hood, which is over here. Uh, here's some pictures of it real quick of the process. And tonight I'm going to lay down some Bondo on here to clean all this up. And then I'll come out tomorrow and sand it down and then paint it. And my new headers showed up. These are small block Chevy S10 swap specific headers from Headman. Got some new collectors and hardware, gaskets. And then over here I got my motor mounts from Transdapt. Ordered through Jags. 2.8 motor mounts and then V8 swap mounts and new hardware also so I'll be working on this thing uh, this weekend I'll try to get some video for you guys I'm gonna get this cleaned up and painted uh, and then try to get those new mounts put on the frame all right so I got the Bondo laid out I'm gonna let it cure overnight and then another thing to update y'all on real quick is I cleaned up all the wiring new wire loom and tape on it Got rid of the crap that I don't need. All the lights and stuff are over here. So uh, I'll get back on this tomorrow and finish sanding this down and get it painted. Alright guys, so I'm about done with the firewall. Probably going to sand it down just a little bit with some fine sandpaper and put another coat of paint on there. What I'm getting ready to do now is drill a hole in the frame right around here on both sides. So I can stick a wrench in there and get these old pads off. Um, without doing that, you have to take the whole front suspension out and go up here in the spring perch uh, to get those bolts out. And I'm not doing that. So I uh, looked around on Facebook and everybody said to drill a hole right here. And you can put a wrench in there and, and hold the bolts in place while you loosen them. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do right now. Alright, so I got the new motor mounts in. Drilling that hole made it so much easier. I recommend to anybody doing a V8 swapping an S10 to drill holes in the frame to do motor mounts. Got the firewall finished up. And we got a new shop dog today. This is Holly. The other dog's around here somewhere. Where'd he go? He's on the porch still. Yeah. He's not coming out. Hey, Holly. Alright, so that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching.